Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well web chat. My name is Peter Fisher, and in today's episode, I would like to discuss a piece of software that I was recently uh, recommended by uh, Appcelerator, in fact, for reading documentation whilst offline. Now, just to give you some background, uh, I do a lot of commuting in and out of Bristol. Um, I've been doing that quite recently now, and um, I do a, occasionally write code and read documentation on the train and on the bus and so forth. And I needed to find a way of um, of reading Appcelerator's documentation um, whilst commuting. And, and so what I did is I sent them a tweet and I said, is there a way to download your documentation um, so I can, I can read it whilst commuting? Uh, I suggested perhaps using uh, Markdown as a, as a means of, of downloading that locally. And they came back and they 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 tweeted back um, to in fact use a, a piece of software called Dash. Now Dash, um, it's a Mac OS uh, application. Uh, too, too much to my to my surprise, it's not actually available in um, in the App Store, but you can download it from their website. I'll put a link in the description below. And um, yeah, it's brilliant because you can download uh, different types and, and, and different programming languages documentation and read that offline. So for example, uh, I, I occasionally do some work in, in, in cafes and so forth when I'm either waiting for my uh, morning commutes or whether I'm having a meeting or something, meeting colleagues or, or some, some people in, uh, in the cafe. Um, sometimes I need to spin up some documentation and um, if I'm suggesting something to someone, say another developer, and I can't remember what the function name is, sometimes I need to, you know, it, it's nice to have that piece of resource with you. Likewise, when you're commuting and you're actually writing code, you've luckily enough got yourself a table on the on the train and you can actually get your laptop open and write some code. Um, it's nice to have that utility there to uh, to, to not only read the documentation, but um, search the documentation for what you need. And so this Dash application does this, and it was um, it was kindly recommended to me by Appcelerator over Twitter. So without further ado, let's um, let's get into it and uh, give you a bit of a tutorial, a bit of a feel as to what Dash can offer. This is the dashboard for Dash. We can see that uh, we have four main options here, download doc sets, manage doc sets, search for profiles, user guides, and we can also get the Dash for iOS. So this means that we can download this Dash application for iPads and iPhones, which is pretty useful. Also notice that there's this tab here, purchase Dash. So you can actually buy um, this Dash application, and in doing so, you're open to um, a lot of benefits for uh, saving um, uh, user guides and so forth to your profile and saving annotations and so forth within the documentation. At the moment I've just got the free version but the free version allows you to download all of the, the documentation. So let's uh, I'll take you through downloading doc sets. So let's click on uh, the downloading doc sets here and we can see that we have a whole list of uh, documentation that we can download and on the left here you can see that I've, I've already downloaded um, some documentation. So we've got uh, Symfony and PHP, PHP Unit, Laravel. Uh, we've even got Gitflow, um, Elasticsearch, WordPress, Bootstrap, and so forth. So the documentation isn't necessarily limited to web development. Uh, we can also uh, download, you know, Gitflow and Docker and so forth. Um, and as you can see, there's stuff in here for uh, things like the Apple API references and so forth. Some Ansible, some Angular. Uh, we can even download documentation for Bash. So let's go and do that. So download that. And we can see that it's just been uh, added here. Um, and let's uh, let's have a look. What else can we get? So we've got CSS. Um, we've got a bit of Django. I'm going to download um, the Docker. So some of these, these vary in size. So this one's 47 megabytes. Some of them are in the hundreds. Um, but some of them, as you can imagine, are, are quite quite extensive. Um, another thing uh, that I would like to just uh, note is that you can download different versions of documentation. So see, I've got Symfony 2.7 here and Symfony 3. 
So you can uh, you can specify which version of the documentation you wish to download. So I'm also going to download Markdown as well. Okay, can you see it's just been instantly added here? So that's uh, that's downloads, um, and then what you've got here is the doc sets. So you can uh, search within certain doc sets. You can also change the order in which the doc sets um, appear. Um, and then you have integration. So Dash allows Dash can be integrated into uh, different IDEs. So for example, you have Sublime Text here and Xcode and, and so forth. Um, and we can also use snippets. So um, much like GitHub snippets, you can um, save your own snippets and create your own set, your own doc set, if you like, um, or, or you can specify a placeholder or a, a directory for, or a, a library location, if you will, for these doc sets to be saved. And that's where the um, that's where the purchase bit comes in because you can actually save these to your um, to to the cloud, I suppose, and then download your own snippets. So, for example, if you were working in a team and you wanted to have your own snippets of code, you could share those out. So let's uh, close that down. Okay, so let's go through the actual documentation itself. So, like I said, we've got different versions of Symfony, uh, PHP, and so forth. So we can either click onto uh, Symfony itself and see the documentation. It's a bit jumbled up here because I've gone and uh, moved the um, the width to fit the video. But um, let's uh, let's open that up. We can get a breakdown of classes and traits and interfaces and so forth. Uh, so let's uh, let's check out the PHP one. So scroll down here. We can see that this this is the PHP manual. Um, it's even got the installation guides for um, for installing PHP. I can click back on here, just like a browser, back and forth. Um, and if I press back again, I go back to the Symfony documentation that I was just on, and then back to the to the home. Um, we can also search within things. So, for example, let's say I wanted to find. Um, uh, let's say I wanted to um, create some sort of uh, a function that used one of the PHP array functions, but I couldn't remember what it was called. But I did know it was. It started with array, and then underscore. So we can instantly see this sort of autocomplete list. Of, of functions and on the left hand side you can see the logo of the uh, of the programming language so we can see that that's um, PHP for example but we can also see that there are some for WordPress and we can see that there are some specifically for uh, Symfony um, and even some for JavaScript when we go further down the line so as I keep typing so for example U N Q, we can get straight to array unique and notice that the, the the content in the middle changes dynamically to what your what you what the the highest most one on here or basically whatever you've you've clicked on um so also with purchasing um this you don't get this warning so th this this uh, message so this message prevents you from just switching between documentation really rapidly um, so pre to prevent that, um, you would you would purchase. So here we can see the array unshift. So this is ex exactly the same documentation as what's on the internet on on the actual PHP document, um, and we can see the parameters and the return values. We've also got the examples, and we've also got the user contributed notes as well, which is really useful. If we were uh, connected to the internet, we could also um, use Google so this is now connecting to uh, Google and we can see uh, Google results for array underscore we can also search for stack overflow as well if we wanted to so let's uh, let's just bring that down let's do some more examples so what's really useful here is that there is this uh, this home button so if you wanted to go straight back to the dashboard you would click on here and you would go straight back to this uh, to, to where you began um, also, you can create tabs of documentation. So let's say you were working on a project and you needed to, uh, and, it, and it was using multiple technologies and you wanted to 
quickly uh, find out some JavaScript knowledge as well as some PHP knowledge. So uh, let's say we wanted to have a look at array underscore walk. Um, so that, that's uh, that's there in, in this tab. We could click on this plus uh, icon here and that would bring up another tab. And let's say we wanted to um, look at some JavaScript. So let's say we wanted to uh, look at, I don't know, uh, the JavaScript array documentation here. So as you can see, we've got the PHP documentation and the JavaScript documentation. We can have as many tabs as, as you want, uh, which is really useful. Another useful tool is the ability to add bookmarks. So for example, I can uh, click on this link here and it can click on the add bookmark and it would bookmark it at, the, at this point. So if I was to uh, click on that, I would go straight to this, uh, this page. So if there was a, a common piece of documentation that I was looking for um, frequently, then I would create myself bookmarks. Another really, really useful tool, um, which is great for people who um, who prefer looking at uh, documentation or even code for that matter in different colors, is this night mode. So if I was to click on this circle, circular thing here, you can click on that and it en enables dark mode. I actually prefer dark mode when when um, writing code, especially in the evenings, because it's I find it easier on the eyes. Um, so let's uh, I'll just give you a see the difference it's uh, it's quite it's quite striking difference um, so that's the night mode uh, we can also open and close these annotations so if you wanted to see it in full screen and likewise we can drag and um, scroll this forward and back to give you more screen real estate um, so the next things is the uh, this bit so you can actually create snippets um, uh, yourself, like I've mentioned before, you can add a new snippet. Um, so you can actually start writing some code in here and uh, snippet copied. So here we've got uh, a snippet library um, and this can be in various languages and you can also tag this. So for example, if I wanted to, let's write some proper code. So let's say I did uh, array uh, unique Uh, a is equal to an array which has, say, I don't know, uh, a, 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 b, and then a in there, for example, and we just echo our a, oh, sorry, echo that, and we can just say, uh, return a and here we can do php as a tag and uh, i'm going to whoops the component php and then uh, in here array unique and then use so uh, we can also rename that so php array there you go okay so we can you can create your own uh, set of snippets and you can also create your own tags as well so you can see that uh, this one this snippet has been tagged with uh, php and array unique so that's really useful um, going back to the documentation here Okay, so that's a, a very quick whistle top stop tour of uh, of Dash. Uh, like I said, I I highly recommend it, especially if you're commuting a lot and or you're in places that uh, don't often have Wi-Fi uh, or the internet, and you need to access the documentation um, quite rapidly. So that was Dash, a useful application that you can download on macOS for reading programming documentation and programming framework documentation uh, whilst on the go. So like I said, I use this um, quite often when I'm commuting or just when I'm in a place with no uh, internet access and I want to read documentation um, when I'm out and about and when I'm writing code, which uh, I'm not actually in the office. Um, 
It's uh, very useful, highly recommend it. I'll leave a, dis uh, a link to the website below. As I mentioned before, that you can't actually download this from the App Store at the moment. Um, if you've got any questions about this video, then please leave them in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can tweet them to my Twitter handle, which is at PFWD. Please subscribe to get the next web chats and the web um, uh, tutorials. I've got a couple of uh, Docker tutorials lined up for the next couple of weeks. Um, thanks again for watching, and I shall see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.